now is the time for us to start talking about navigation. All right, so we are going to start with the Stack Navigator. So uh, let me just get my browser here. And uh, here I would type um, React Navigation. React Navigation. Okay. So here is the documentation of React Navigation. So I'll click on the docs. And here you can see that it's talking about a lot of stuff. It's talking about installing uh, navigate, React Navigation slash native, uh, safe area context and everything. Because there's going to be a lot of stuff to install. Okay. Because we're going to be with this, we are going to be able to navigate from one screen to the other, back and forth, pop some screens, push some screens, and all these kind of stuff. Okay. So I've got everything ready. And I have this text file right here, okay, because this is going to be for the stack navigator, okay. And if you want the bottom tabs, we are going to just add this to the top of it. So we're going to install all of those. And on top of that, we are going to add the bottom tab, all right. So I'm going to provide you with all of these packages in the resources. Uh, but there's also going to be a GitHub repo, so you can just go ahead and get everything from there. All right, so I'm going to copy this first. Okay, go back to my VS Code. Stop my server. Paste this. And then I'll add this. So, whoa. So I'll copy this and come here and add it. So that way, we are going to be having the stack navigator and the bottom tabs as well. So I can press enter now and we can start waiting great so now this is over okay the installation is over and uh, for our bottom tabs um, let me just go ahead and show you expo vector icons because we're gonna be using some icons for the bottom tab navigator so I'm gonna get back to my browser so my browser is here and I'm gonna search for expo vector icons so let me let me just type here expo vector icons and the FYI, okay, there's F Expo, the FYI, so you just click that one. And here you have all of the icons that we can use, okay. We don't need to install anything, we just need to import it, okay. So we're going to use some stuff from here, but first of all, let me just get back to my code. And I'm going to start with creating the tab navigator. So here I'll say const tab, and the tab is going to be equal to create bottom tab okay it's already being suggested so you can just import it by pressing enter okay you can see it here it's been imported okay and let's not please forget about the parentheses and then i can have the stack navigator so here i'll say tab cons and then here i'll, I'll press i'll just type on uh, stack and here is going to be equal to create native stack navigator import that as well with the parentheses Okay, so now since we have to use the tab navigator and the stack navigator all together, we're going to need some logic, okay, because we cannot just use them just like that, okay. So we're going to have the stack navigator and the stack navigator is going to contain the tab navigator, okay. That's the logic we are going to use, okay. So right here, I'm going to delete all of that right here and I'll just go here and say navigation container. They're probably going to ask me to import a navigation container. Okay. So it's right here. Import it. Okay. Close it. And then it's going to close automatically. And then inside of it, we're going to create a stack navigator. So here, I'm going to have stack dot navigator. Okay. We can close it. And inside of this, now we're going to have the screens. Okay. So right now, what I'm saying is we're going to create the first screen. It's going to be containing the tab navigator, which we don't have yet. So now this is here uh, and we need a screen. I'm going to go and create the function for the tab navigator. So I'm going to come inside here, inside the app. Okay, right here inside. Let me make sure you can see it properly. And I'll type uh, function. And the function is going to be equal to tab navigator. Okay, it's tab navigator. Opening this. And then I'll do a return. So here in my return. I'm going to have the, th the tab navigator. So here I'll have tab.navigator. Then I'll close it. 
and inside the tab navigator we're gonna have some screens okay so here I will have tab dot screen okay and then we need some, to have some screens so right now we don't have screens yet so I'm gonna have to create um, the screens for the tab navigator so before that I'm just I'll just keep this this way so that way there's no error I mean the server is not even running so so good so I'm gonna come in the SRC here and now create a folder named screens okay and inside the screens I'm gonna have the workout screen so here workout screen the JSX okay inside of it I'm gonna do react native functional export and I'll press enter and then this way we already have this and I'll have another one which is gonna be uh, the timer screen so timer screen JSX here the same thing react native functional export and then finally I'll have the calculation screen JSX and here react native functional export save this and this way we have all, all of our screen and if you don't have the ability to do the thing I just did you need to install some extensions okay so you can go to extensions okay by clicking here there's extension here or you can just press Control shift X or whatever it is for you so go to extension and here you type react ES yeah and then you can see it here you get the ES7 right here okay so ES7 plus react slash react slash react native snippet okay install that one check it out it got 9 million downloads okay by the time you watch the video it may be more than that so yeah pick that one because there's gonna be a lot of them so if I take this one for example they got the same name so but it's gonna be different because you see this one here this one got 1 million and the other one got 9 million okay they look the same but then as they look similar but they're not the same alright so get that one and also you would need um, Tailwind Intelligence because I'll be having some suggestions uh, whenever I'll be typing uh, Tailwind classes so get this one and you'll be good alright so I'm not just gonna I'm just going to close all of those things now and uh, yeah these screens has been have been created so now we can come into the bottom tab navigator here okay and now we can create the screens so here I'll say top the screen so top the screen we're gonna have the name and the first one is gonna be workout okay so the first one is gonna be workout and the component the component is going to be the workout screen okay so here we have a workout screen so it's gonna be workout screen and you can press control and space uh, it looks like I typed it wrong let me just check so it's workout screen maybe because it's not close that I'm not getting suggestions so I'm just gonna go ahead here and uh, press control and press space it's not appearing uh, for some reason so that's fine I'm gonna go I'm gonna go here and import it manually so here I'll, so I'll do import workout work out screen from let me see yeah SRC screens and workout oh yeah it's because oh yeah 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 it's normal it's normal it's absolutely normal so right here in the workout screen no it's not normal I thought I thought I forgot the JSX in the return but the uh, the export but the export is here so it's not normal it's just that uh, it's taking time to to get it so the workout screen is here I can save this oh let me just launch the server first of all so here expo start okay meanwhile what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click right here and I'll press shift and alt and then I'll press the down arrow so I'll do it twice okay so this way we're gonna have here the timer and this one gonna be for the timer screen so here I'll just delete it and, and type timer screen uh, since I get suggestions which is weird and here is going to be 
calculation and here's going to be for the calculation screen uh, calculation screen yeah not getting suggestions okay so I'll reload this app and right here is not gonna figure it out so I'm just gonna duplicate this and here is go and I control D and here is gonna be timer screen and here is going to be calculation screen okay so notice that it's changing on both sides all right so it's saying something here of can't find any screen for the navigator so we're gonna go here it's probably here that because of this being empty that it's complaining so I'll come here and I'll create um, the stack screen so here so he's gonna be stack dot screen and for the first screen so here I'll put the name and the name is gonna be tab navigator okay and the component here so component is going to be equal to the tab navigator function so I can just close it properly and hopefully this time we're not gonna have an error I can reload the app and yeah there we go okay so right now we seeing some weird things but we can see that we got three things here okay so you can see here it's workout screen okay here we got timer screen and here finally you get the calculation screen so we got the bottom tab navigator working and uh, yeah this is gonna be for this video and I'll see you in the next one